Man, this shows how dumb I am. I thought this was just your basic, average, run-of-the-mill, rogue planet story. And then I realized, duh, they're talking about an aurora. Which, in Thor News definition, is the crown of the planet. Arugu world has an unexplained aurora. That is great news. A planet over 12 times the size of Jupiter has been found drifting 20 light years from Earth. That proves it. To what? Where? Why, uh, what? Come on, man, out with it. We haven't got all day to waste. Oh, uh, just... There's something out there. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Party Dance Time. Yep, that's right. We're over the Independent in their science division. Talking about a massive rogue planet with unexplained aurora glow discovered drifting far beyond our solar system. They always have to include that. It's a newly identified object, and it's 12 times bigger than Jupiter. Wow, Herculubus was only eight times bigger than Jupiter. This thing is like one and a half Herculubuses. That's a lot of Herculubuses. Herculubus, Herculubus, do the Herculubus, 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 do the Herculubus. It's a new Doom Dance craze. Everybody doing it. Master. Somebody's out there like, damn it, I want my Doom News serious. This ain't Doom News, though. The Rouge, you spell rogue wrong there, buddy. The Rouge, the the Rougu you. That was cute. The Rougu you world has an unexplained aurora glow and is the first of its kind to be discovered by a radio telescope. What? This object is right at the boundary between a planet and a brown dwarf or a failed star. I disagree with that nomenclature and is giving us some surprises that can potentially help us understand magnetic processes on both stars and planets. Astronomer Dr. Melody Cow <laughs> found the planet after taking a further look at previous research. All right, auroras are those things on top of a planet. It's not rogue then. It's connected to a star, trust me. This is it, Metro. Mysterious rogue planet discovered outside solar system. Scientists have found evidence of the first ever planetary mass object beyond our solar system. What? That doesn't sound correct at all. They found a lot of planetary mass objects. What are you guys new at writing or something? And it's huge. That's what she said. Probably a dozen times bigger than Jupiter. Nah, I would be stretching it. According to the researchers at National Radio Astronomy Observatory, they're calling it a rogue planet because it appears to be traveling through space without any kind of an orbit around a parent star. So I don't believe that because I think planets get their auroras from their stars. Science doesn't believe that though. So, I, but I'm saying I, I think it's connected to a star, especially if its aurora is lit up. Or maybe they put the story out just to try and shit on my theory. Would science do that? Maybe. This object is right at the boundary between a planet, and they found it the radio. Yeah, I guess it'd be weird if they were like, we took a picture of a brown dwarf with an aurora. Do you want to see it? And be like, yeah. And they'd be like, sorry, I can't show it to you. Because if we did, it'd be one pixel. And be like, how'd you know there's an aurora on it? And be like, well, it showed up in the spectroscopy. And they'd be like, what? <laughs> I'm a one pixel spectroscopy expert. You might be like, what is spectroscopy? And it's like, and the, it's a telescope that is functioned to tell you what's inside stuff. So if you point it like a hot dog, it'll be like, that hot dog is part cow, part rat, part chicken, and no dog. A little bit of bugs and a little bit of pink paste. Yeah, this is real science. This isn't that horse shit they sell you in third grade, buddy. This object is right at the boundary between a planet and a brown dwarf, or a failed star. That is so disrespectful. Science is bad at naming shit. And like, nobody got the balls to say, y'all are bad at naming shit. It's like, this failed. That is just a dwarf and is giving us some surprises that can potentially help us understand magnetic processes on both stars and planets, said Melody Cowell. Led the study while a graduate student, graduate students the best science at Caltech, and is now a Hubble postdoctoral fellow at Arizona State University. Do you guys know the Hubble's 25 years old? Yep. Do you know anybody that still has the same camera they were using from 25 years ago? It's weird our space agency is still using the same camera they were using 25 years ago, and they haven't improved it. But enough about that. Cow's team used a radio astronomy observatory located in central New Mexico called, fittingly, Very Large Array. Oh, I want to visit it. Pick up its magnetic activity and study it. This particular object is exciting because studying it, because studying its magnetic dynamo mechanisms can give us new insights 
and how the same type of me mechanisms can operate in extrasolar planets. Planets beyond our solar system, Cow said. The research shows that this object, which has been designated SIMP J01365663 plus 09333437373, sorry, 09334733, damn it, I'm trying again, plus 09334733, has a magnetic field over 200 times more powerful than Jupiter's. This article's got a whole lot of math. Although this particular object was first picked up on in 2016, it was thought to be one of the five recently discovered brown dwarfs. That's a weird sentence. <laughs> they found quite a few, so it's like, I don't know. That's just, okay. It was, oh. But this new data seems to show it's a much younger object, and its mass was, therefore, a lot smaller. What? Oh. Mass is not weight, dumbass. My grandmother used to say to me, by grandmother, I mean Neil Tyson Degrassi, meaning it could theoretically be classified as a planet in its own right. That's what she said. <laughs> That's a good one. Except there's like one lady out there who's like, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Damn you, the patriarchy. <sighs> yeah, brown dwarves make me think about beautiful women. You know, like Selena Gomez. Some dude was like, you like them young women? And I'm like, well, she's like 27, dipshit. It's not that young. She's old enough to get into bars. You know? As long as I live, I think it's always going to be okay to be attracted to women who are single and old enough to get into bars. And I don't care if you don't agree with that. All right? Because that's pretty much my dating age limit. If they're old enough to get into a bar, then I could potentially date them based on how cool, funny, cuddly, and faithful they are. Plus smart. I mean, super smart, you know. Just to teach me stuff, because I'm dumb. I'm learning, though. I'm not that dumb. I just play dumb on the YouTube for giggles and shits. But this new data seems to show that it's a much younger object. Can it get into a bar, though? And its mass was therefore a lot smaller. <sighs> Selena Gomez has tiny hips. It looks like my thumbs would fit perfectly on her hip bones. That's probably too much information for you. Meaning, it could theoretically be classified as a planet in its own right. That's what she said. <laughs> and one gets me every time. At 200 million years old. Wow, I bet she's good in the sack. Talking about the planet. We should give her a name. Joy. Joy. Come along to Thor News as we wax poetic about giant rogue planets with perfectly shaped hips named Joy. Well, it's not really a planet. It's not really a brown dwarf. It's in the middle, and science is going to be really crappy about naming it, I bet. I knew ahead of time. The object has a surface temperature of about 825 years. <laughs> okay. The object has a surface temperature of about 825 degrees Celsius, or more than 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. By comparison, the sun's surface temperature is about 5,500 degrees Celsius. Wow, more math. I think I just pooped on my calculator. Yep, it's going to be one of those episodes. Zeroing in on the new find could lead to new techniques being developed to help research for alien worlds. Dun, 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Detecting Simp Joy PIMS with the VA, VLA through its auroral radio mission also means that we may have a new way of detecting exoplanets. Hey, all right, including the elusive rogue ones, not orbiting a parent star. Are those called teenagers? Maybe it's in college. Said Greg Allen from Caltech, who is part of the research team contributing to the discovery. That was published in Astrophysical Journal. You might be like, Caltech, that sounds familiar. You'd be like, yeah, that's the kingdom of Mike Brown. You know him. He killed Pluto. All right, there you go. Did we learn a lot of science? Man, I just scienced up all in your business. Sci science everywhere. I got science all over your new pretty dress. All right, everybody. Forgive me for having so much fun. Holy smokes. It's nice to talk about, it's nice to take a break, talk about the weather, plus all these pretty pictures, and you. Did you have fun? Me too. All right, high five over the internet. Boom. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Alien planet. That sounds cool. So stay tuned.
because who knows what we might find. <laughs>